We're gonna expand on this guy quite a bit. Instead of using my missiles, I can just roll over these guys. I mean, that's a pretty nice feature, right? Bam. Oh my gosh. There we go. Get that guy out of the way. And we'll just run over this guy and that guy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And we are back playing Terratech Worlds today. And for this video, I would like to do a kind of a full battle rover kind of build or battle bot or battle mech, whatever you want to call these guys. And I want to take this little cab right here and expand on kind of a previous design that I had. So let's see if we go back and look at our little mech guys. I had this guy. Oh no, not that one. Where is he at? Is this it? Yeah. So this guy right here did really well, although he did have some serious weaknesses with just being kind of really slow. And I don't think he really had enough armor on him, but it was kind of a really difficult balance. And he was just super heavy and the armor, you know, took up a lot of the reactor capacity. And so it was just hard to manage the temperature and the heat and, and the cold and just everything we did. It, there was just a constant battle back and forth between hot and cold and you know slow and slower <laughs> so basically i put like a ton of weapons on him and i put these rocket booster or rocket missiles on him and then i overpowered the missiles and that did help out a lot but it still wasn't enough to do what we needed to do and in the last episode oops i basically ended up stuck inside the mountain area over there where I died near this giant crater that we had just discovered and I needed to do like a rescue mission to, to go back so I ended up building like the most simple lightweight fast design that I could and that ended up getting us over there but we were just we didn't have any armor or any any weapons really or anything to, to to do anything and stay over there for any length of time and inside that giant crater there is like this huge base over there and there's a whole bunch of activity going on on the inside of it tons of little bots running around and whatever and so i really want to build something that can withstand the cold and can be fast or faster and can have enough armor and guns to actually survive over there with uh, some decent power management so that's kind of the goal for today's video is really start off with a fresh build in a sense and to see what we can come up with so let's go ahead and get started I, do, I have this cab right here so we're starting off with the crab cab is what it's called the crab extra large cab and I like it. It's cool looking. Looks like a crab. And, you know, it has its benefits as far as modifiers attached to it. The only issue with these modifiers is that they only kick in or go into effect when something becomes detached. So if somebody shoots something off your vehicle, then this cab's modifiers like to amplify the nanobot repair and the recycle. Not really sure what the recycle does, but that they those will kick in and start repairing and you know these these little modifiers will kick in and help your, your, your bot i guess or rover whatever the heck you got so let's go to our storage yard because we were just a bare cab now i could use these cabs so i have this other cab the centurion cab and it's a really good beefy cab i like it but you know, it has a lot of storage space and everything, but it's kind of weak as far as its health. It's only at 400. And this one, I think its health is, what is its health? What is our health at? Should be somewhere over here. Oh, it's at, no, it's at, it's hundred percent health. I think it's like, I, th I honestly think it's at like 400 as well. But like, see this one right here is at like a thousand. And so it's super durable. And I like this cab a lot because it's modifiers are directly applied all the time so nothing special has to happen for these to get applied but you know it's a little less on the reactor capacity and and you know and, and it has less modifiers i guess not really though wait a second let's uh, look here so this has three modifiers recycle nano and apply I mean amplify <laughs> and this one has amplify superconductor I'm not really sure what superconductor does I don't know what that does and then recycle I'm not really sure what that does either and then there's nanobot I know what that does that's obviously a repair speeds up your repair a little quicker and then the superconductor maybe it's like a power management thing I don't know 
and then amplify amplifies the power of your weapon. So I don't know. Maybe maybe superconductor is combined with amplifier is pretty good there. I, I don't really know, but I think we're gonna stick with the crab cab just because it's one block shorter, and so I, I kind of like it for its little squattiness, and and it also fits inside the design that I'm trying to kind of come up with. I guess I, I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. I might leave enough room so I can switch over to this if we really need to. I do like the fact that that has a lot of health points and everything so maybe that's an option but it just doesn't look as cool so <laughs> we're gonna do four man function today i don't know so let's go here and find us a chassis and i think i'm gonna go with i don't have a lot of options actually i just have this one and that one i might have one more oh yeah i do have this one definitely not doing that it's too small so these are like really small like let me zoom out and Actually, that one's not as small as I thought it was. Interesting. But the one thing I don't like about it, it's only got, it's fast, so it only has a plus two turbo modifier on it. Whereas these have a little bit more modifiers. And then this one has a lot as far as the repair goes. So I think in a snow mountain area, this is really the best chassis to use, which is the Wolverine frame. So we'll just go ahead and just stick this over here. I have four of those, okay. And then let's line up our cab here. Let's get right into this. I guess that's a good place. I'm gonna just keep them there for now. I might move the cab around, but I don't know. So now we need some wheels. Let's go grab some wheels. And I like these and I like this. These are This is probably my favorite wheel to go with. These I was hoping would be a little bit better in the snow. But they don't really seem to be that much better and they they are a lot more reactor load so this is 12 on the reactor load this is 14 and it's the same stats but i didn't really notice any extra grip on the ice with this that would have been nice if these were like real grippy on the ice and maybe there is like a little bit and maybe we need to boost them or something i, I don't know so, but for now we're going to stick with these because i like the ground clearance that this gives me you know, that's kind of important because we're always running over the hills and those dang rocks that are just randomly placed everywhere. So let me scoot that to the back, I think. And so this is kind of the, 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 the you know, initial concept. I like this a lot because it's like super quick and everything. So, you know, it's kind of cool. I like how fast it is being light. And this is what we use to go do the rescue mission with. But we're going to expand on this guy quite a bit. So let's back up a little bit. And then we can kind of rotate him around. And so one of the things I want to really focus on is the, the modifiers. So let's look at what we have for modifiers that can incorporate our speed a little better. There's one of them in here somewhere that I know, I can't remember what it is, that has a speed buff to it. Is it one of these? No. What the heck is it? Okay, maybe I should just click on these to kind of organize everything. But these are all armor. That's the cabs. Those are mechanism things. The weapons. Batteries. We're going to need to stick some batteries on. Oh, this, I think this is it. So, not this. This one. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we have these right here. So we have these chassis. So this is a plus 10 on the turbo. That's right. So I was kind of thinking, all right, we could take this and then stick it like right here. And so really what that does is it boosts the wheels. You can see the current turbo modifier is plus 10, which is fantastic. Oh, that, that'd that be like awesome if that was the case. However, it's only when something breaks off our vehicle do we get that bonus, and it's only for a short period of time. So it's really not worth it. And in, in you know, my case, I, I guess it's good for like a quick escape if you are able to see when something falls off and you're like, okay, and you happen to notice it, and then, then you can just turbo out of there. But I want turbo action all the time, not just, you know, not just temporarily. So I like this thing here. It has a plus one on turbo, but it's also boosts the armor and nano repair. And so I'm just trying to figure out how we can use it. This one just does turbo. So maybe we can use a combination of these two because they are, they turbo all the time. Yeah. So there's no weird conditions that need to be met on these. So maybe we can just, we just stick these on. 
Nope, not like that. Uh, let's see. Nope. How, how can I do this? I want to get the most out of these. All right, so, <laughs> so if I just put those for, on the wheel for now, so we're, we only have plus two on our turbo speed. Okay, that is not as much as I was hoping. But we have all the extra repair bonuses, which is nice. So that's good. Wow, we're actually plus 16 on repair. Okay, now this one is a plus two. So maybe, I don't really know. This one's kind of oddball. It doesn't actually like line up very well because it's, it's a, it's, I don't know, it's just weird. It doesn't have any connectors on the end. See, it's on the very end. If it did, that'd be perfect because I could just stick it in between here and then it would boost both these, these, these sets of tires. It would apply to both of these. But I don't think it's going to be that easy. So can we stick this in the middle? No, that's not going to do. That's not going to do it. You can kind of get two of them on there. But I don't really like the way that looks. So it's kind of sticking way out. It might run into our tires. So let's do this. Let's take these. So that gives us a plus one. A plus one there. I think I figured out a good solution right now. So I've put these little, I guess they're, they're just called a versatile axle. And these have been applied kind of around. I have two on these wheels, two on these, two in the back. And they have given us a plus two on our turbo and added to our repair and to the armor as well. So that's a good start. Now I think we can go here to, oops, where is it at? Where are those other little things? Okay, this one amplifies and it's a superconductor. This one's a plus three on the turbo. So that's good. And then this one is plus two. So we do a plus three and a plus two, and the reactor load is negative three on that. Okay, so that's better. And this also helps with the recycle aspect of it. But I'm wondering if we can use these also. So maybe we can combine this one in here. Oops, right there, grab that one. And then put that one back there. And now, Ooh, look at that, we're plus five on the turbo. Now, is this a weird condition? Let's double check, where are we at here? I only have two of those, man. So those for directly connected blocks of type weapon. Oh, I wonder, what, well, I wonder if that helps with the speed. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll leave it right there to test. I mean, it does say, let's look over here, it does say we have plus five on the turbo. But only on those. I need more of these. So maybe we'll put... I only have two. So we need some more. So let's put this one in the back over here. Right there. And then what I think we can do is use these guys. Man, I only have four of these. Happened. <laughs> Thought I had more. Some of these parts, like, like these, we get a ton of these in the snow biome. And then these, I think we end up getting like over in the swamp area more. Like these two things, you know, are used over there. So maybe, I don't know. I just, we have to go and explore. I think I have a bunch more of these at Mother Base. So we'll see how this turns out. I may run over there and grab them. So this, we're going to add one of these here. And then let's add that there. That one there. And then that there. Now that has given us plus nine turbo. Holy cow. Okay. Now these are only plus two. So I wonder if that makes a difference. Like, I mean, our, our back wheels, do all of our wheels need to be turboed the same? I mean, I feel like they are going a little faster. Sounds faster. Okay. I'm gonna leave those like that, and then as I get more, I'll start, I'll add them on to these spots. Because I have a few places over here, so we should be able to find some more of these. 
I, I could maybe make them. Let's see, do we have the ability? Let's look in our Lockopedia to see if we have them unlocked. Because if I do, I could make some. So I do, ooh, I do have that one unlocked. That is the plus two. And then we have that other one, wherever it's at. Let's see, do we have the license or whatever it's called? Or the other thing? What the heck is it? Okay, let's just look this way. Okay, is it considered a piece? It's a weapons mount, I think, technically. It's not in there. It's not there. I don't know what these do either. I tried putting these on. I have no idea. I think they're supposed to help you find metal ores, but I don't know. It seems kind of pointless in this game since they're all on the ground. Maybe they're going to add something with that. Look, where is that piece at? There's that one. That's the other one. Oh, there it is, right there. Holy cow, it's 700. 700. Whatever bucks. Bitcoin bucks or something? I don't know. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I need to launch a few rockets off to get that. Alright, so I guess we'll just be off to, f to trying to find those and maybe I can just make those other ones. All right, made seven of those, or no, actually eight. So we can use these to boost up this thing. Okay. Oh, I can actually add more right here. for me to do that over here? I did already. Okay. So, alright. So now these wheels... Holy cow, they're plus eight? How many of these? Turbo plus two? And these are nine. Wow, okay. So we have... One, two, three on that one. One, two, three on that one. And then we have three plus this thing. But this one has a weird criteria that it needs. So, it's, I mean, it said specifically, let's look real quick. Uh, yeah, okay. Or directly connected blocks of type weapon. So maybe it doesn't, maybe it only applies to the weapons. Maybe it makes the weapons fire faster. So let's put these up because they are higher on the, the reactor capacity. And then we'll add these in their place. Okay. Like that. And now we have eight and eight all the way around, all four tires. Oh yeah, holy cow, definitely faster. Okay, and look at easy, we go up the mountain and everything. Okay, nice, or whatever the hill. Holy cow, stop, stop. All right, so we're good. We're getting some speed. Okay, so I think that is as far as we can go with the speed aspect of this thing. So now we need to add some storage. So let's do the storage blocks. I want to rotate those like this. Put those, I like to put them in between these little chassis little uh, areas on the frame. Come on, get in there. where it needs to go. All right, cool. All right, our little weird looking thing is looking okay right now. So this cab is a little on the weaker side or a lot on the weaker side. So I want to make sure that we are able to put armor around it. So I wanna start adding some armor to this thing. And I haven't really used any of the main armor pieces that I see all the other little turtle looking guys you know, run around with. So I want to like experiment 
with these. Let me stick these on. I don't know about that. Okay, I've got this one here. How does this Let's see? Experiment with this thing. Oh, wait a second. Get back. Okay, so flip that around. Ooh, look at that. All right, we actually have a lot of armor around that. It's kind of squatty though. I, I kind of want to support, protect this cab more. So I wonder, let's, let's add these over here just for now. Flip that around and Two of those. Okay, I think I want to move this. Wait, can we move it forward? We can't move it forward, can we? How about this one? Oh, wait a second. Okay, so we have that there. Can this go? I just want to move it forward. Spaces that might work because we're protecting the cab really well. Let's see if we can get that to line up again. All right, I don't know what we're doing for the back though. So, okay, and the front is kind of weird. So, I don't know. Can we use? We have another piece to fill this gap. But is there a piece for that? Not, not that piece, I guess. Maybe with these. That does fill the gap, though. How about these? Ooh, that's looking pretty good. It's not quite there, though. Not like aligned. So that's interesting. Okay. That might be as good as we get, though. Can I move this back even more? I think I can. Oh, wait. I just did. Okay. So it's kind of not really lined up very well. That might be okay. Maybe we just stick... I want to do that. Or do I want to put that like that? There's got to be a piece. What about one of these? Oh my god, that thing's huge. What about this one? That one's big too. Okay, so these are like for the back or something. For some reason they don't really line up like on this big chassis very well though. It's kind of weird. It's always like one... One thing, even this one. Oh no, there you go. That one actually connects, but it's like backwards. The one I want this little scoop to go the other way. It's kind of weird. Same thing with this one. Okay, so maybe. Oh, wait a second. What just happened? Oh, I like that. Okay, so, how can we... How do we get a second one right there? Can I use one of these? Wait a second, it needs to be like... Okay, we gotta figure this out. We should have a piece. So I need to get in the middle somehow. know what to do with that. Maybe I could do a piece like this. Okay. Let's do one on we gotta mirror everything, so might as well oh shoot. Have the other piece there. How do 
Where was that? We have it going the other way. Like that. Yeah, that, that gives us more protection. And possibly more space on top. Don't know. I have to experiment with that. Okay, so I got this side piece figured out. So now I gotta fill in this hole somehow. So let's see, what could we use? Is, is there a connector on the end of the armor piece? There is. Okay, so could we use probably like one of these little right angle pieces, right? Where's it at? Right here, maybe? Let's see, we'll just use one of these. Like that. And then, like that. Then grab another armor piece. Hopefully we're not over-armoring ourselves. <laughs> like, I mean, we're going to just not be able to put weapons on. But I, I kind of want to take it to the extreme, and then we'll dial it back. That is not how I want that to go. Okay, will it... Oh, look at that. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. We have a pretty good armored side piece over here now. So... Now, I kind of feel like we need... I don't have any connection points on this side, so is there a piece that's better to use? Maybe this piece right here, because it does have connectors there. Uh, I have to just put him up for now. Let's see, where is that? Right here? Okay, let's see. That doesn't help us. How about... Okay, let's rotate. There we go. Oh no, that didn't work. Dang it. Okay, I think I got it figured out. So, end up having to use uh, this little piece right here. And then we put a little tri three-way connector on it, so that should make it work now. Let's see if we can... Yep, there we go. So now we have all three supported, and we have a connection point on the side, kind of. I'd be able to rotate the... Oh, no, no. Settle down there. Rotate that back. And there we go. Okay, cool. So now we have actually a lot of connection points on this side. Good deal. So let's do the same thing over here. Let's rotate that like that. That's going to fall down. And then we'll put this little tri piece in. And we have to rotate it like this. Put that back. And then where did my little piece fall to? And then we'll rotate this one the wrong way. Bam. There we go. Okay. Nice. So now let's go. More armor. I want more. We're going to use these big side panels. My favorite. So let's see if we can go this way. Um, I'd be able to do it this way too. Well, should we go that way? I don't really know. Let's try this way for right now to see how that works out for us. Bam. Okay. And I want some panels on the back. So, should I use these big panels? Well, they don't really match up very well. How about one of these guys? It looks a little wonky right now. Not bad, though. Hmm. I like that one. Could try another one of these. Back here. The only thing is my back end is not really armored up at all. So let's take that off. Try this thing. Does that fit? Uh, I wish I could fill in that little gap right there. But that might work actually. It's... I don't know. Let's just see. We'll have to experiment. Yeah? could go in, I think, one like that. And then we can put an armor piece maybe right there. So that's too far in. 
Wait, what? What is going on? Something looks weird here. Oh, I see. That's what's going on. Hmm. Okay, that kind of changes things. Because now I can't put an armor piece there. So, let's rotate this. Okay, like that. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. I think I like that better than this piece, which we had. It doesn't have the best connection points. Unless I do it this way. If we go like that, that might look okay in the front, but not too great on the side, on the back. So I think, I'm gonna, I want to really make sure the back of me is super protected. So should we come in closer like that, or should we go out? Yeah, I think we go like that. Put this one over. What, wait, what happened? How does it do that? Hey, there we go. All right, so I think we got the back shaping up pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna need to close up this, this hole in the back. Now we want to focus on the front and I think this would be a good place for some shields. So let's do some shields up front. And what do these do? These are Amplify 1, Recycle, and Superconductor. I really don't know what that does. Okay. Here we go. Shield. And actually, I think I kind of want it upside down because it's a little higher. The whole idea with these things is to pr try to protect our cab because the cab is really, I think, the weakest part here. Let's rotate that one. There we go, those are overlapping even. So that's good. And then I think I, I have another shield. Oh, here it is. Oh, I just have one. Good grief. All right. Oh, also, I wonder, I don't wanna get distracted. Can I put these right here? Oh, yes, look at that. Nice. Okay, so we just shield it up like crazy. And then we got these two on the front. I really want a lot of direct... I do a lot of my my action like kind of head on. I'm just kind of that way. I just rush in and just start going bananas. So maybe we can put this one... This makes like a little... I think it's like a little square. Where can I put it though? It's too far back. It needs to be more forward. So maybe, maybe, let's do one of those little connectors here. Like, maybe this guy? Or this one? Yeah, probably, probably, we'll do this one. It has more connection points. So rotate that around. There we go. So now we can actually put it on top or in the front. Okay, now let's find that little thing again. Here it is. And let's put it right here. Okay. That puts it right. I kind of want it higher, though. All right. Let's put it right there. There we go. Nice. Okay. So our cab is getting protected pretty good. I could even put that there and this one here. Oh, holy cow. We're not. We're not playing around now. Okay, now let's see. I need to add a battery probably. Let's do a battery. I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need one. Where's the battery? I'll do this big battery. And let's put the battery... Actually, let's just put it on the ground and let's rotate our dude. And I want to stick the battery underneath. Let's rotate it. Let's see. What's the best way? Does it is it going to go in between like that? Nice. Okay, let's get two batteries underneath our thing like that. And then turn this guy back. So, all right, that's looking cool. What do the batteries have? Ooh, they're Amplify 5? 
Wait, applies when any block is detached or damaged, increases output. Okay, and then these, um, oh, I can't see what that says. To directly to any block directly connected, a plus two. This is a plus three. Oh, that's a plus three superconductor. Okay, so it's not amplify. All right, so it must be. Oh, okay, it's bringing it from the cab. I see, I see. Okay. Let's see if we still have any speed left on this thing. Mm, you know, I think it's a little quicker. It's obviously slowed down quite a bit, but definitely seemed pretty quick. I don't want to go too far. I mean, it seems quicker than the last thing, but we haven't put our weapons on yet. I still have some armor to close up. Okay, let's go back in here. Okay, so we got to close up this hole, but I really want to lay some weapons down because I'm not really sure where. I know I'm going to put the rocket launchers on here, but I'm not really sure where. So I think the front is pretty good. I add a little bit. Let's rotate this guy around. And then let's... I'm always running into stuff. We need to add maybe this thing. Does that fit in between there? does. Look at that. Now is that what I want right there? I don't want these. Let's see. Let's put that like that. Right there. That's that's it on that. Okay. And how much is that? How many, these are what? Three on the reactor load, and these are three. So I'm getting double the protection. Plus five. They're both plus five. But I would get double plus five if I use two of those. So. Okay, what is it? Let's see. Rotate that, that around. There we go. Like that. But I'm not able to get one in the middle. So that is where... Okay, I see what to do. I see what to do. Okay, so we'll take this guy here. Is it that one? Yeah. Alright. Let's pull that and swap that out with this thing. Rotate that around. There we go. And then grab this thing. Again. There we go. Nice. So we just plus fived like a ton. Right there. So that is plus five. That's plus five to this block. Okay. See, some of these are, see, that block is plus five, but sometimes some of these other ones will say, like, see, this is plus five or plus eight to this block and anything that is it's connected to. So it has two connection points. So that would be a big bonus if we used that. But I think we're going to go with these things for right now. Okay, just for the cool factor. Okay, so now let's go up and let's let's start laying some weapons in to see where we're at. We're already at 220, so we might have to pull some things off. And let's see what we can do with our I want to do missiles. So here and probably, I think we can do something like, is that what we're going to do? Um, like that. Curious that the battery battery does not add anything to this, but this one is getting the recycle. Huh, okay. Not really sure. Maybe. I 
wonder, can we move, I kind of want to move the cab forward. Can I move this cab forward one? No, it doesn't, it goes forward two. Where's the connection point for this? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Right, let's just put it back. It's okay, it's it's well enough protected. Okay, so let's check out these missiles. I kind of want to do, let's see, I want to use these little power amplifiers here. And let's see, what's the best way to do this? Maybe like that. And okay, let's put some on the front here. One on the side. Another one on the side. Why is it not? Okay, so, now that, I think we can actually share these two, so let's share these, let's turn that guy around, so now we have two amplifiers, this guy is being amplified plus two, this one's being amplified plus six, with an additional plus five, so that's eleven total, and we get to plus five when something breaks off, this one's plus two, and, oh, it does still have the plus five as well. So, so we need to get this one. I think we can get this one to be even more powerful. Can I stick some underneath there? Just uh, rotate that, like, way up inside there. Can I get that way in there? No, if I can. Um, I want that to go underneath. So if I can get two of them. Wait, wait, I almost got it there. There it goes. Bam. And then one right there. Okay, so. Oh, oops. No, what, what the heck? Get in there. Okay, yep, our dude's definitely slowing down. <laughs> we made a, may have made another slow turtle. But, oh, you know what? I just had an idea. Okay, well, let me finish these real quick, and then I'll go to the idea. So... Well, let's see here. Alright. Just had an idea. Let's take another one of these. Let's rotate it like that. Okay. And we then take the little boosters. Where the heck they go? Okay. Boosters. And we're going to put... Oh, I see what I could do. Look at that. We can share these together and then rotate that one up I can do the same thing over here share those together right did that do it I don't, I don't think I did it we have to okay there we go like that now that one's getting see is sharing all three of these between these three so they're all sharing the same little thing okay cool Plus, there's two here. Oh, this one's actually getting two from over here. Too bad I can't share to this one. I need a three-way thing. Um, all right, let's see what we come up with here. So let's do this. And then rotate, rotate. And... There we go. I think that's maxed out. So this one is, let's see what this one is. Okay, this one is plus five with a plus five. So plus five from these things, and it's in its amplified plus five. This one is plus seven and amplified plus five. So that's 12. This one's amplified plus six all the time with a plus five from the cab. And I can actually get more on this bad boy here. So, we can do something like this. 
I'm sure there's a, another Tetris way I can connect all of these. Maybe like a big square or something where they're all, you know, like I have four of them or something. But I think I just want to do three for right now because we're getting pretty high on our capacity, reactor capacity. We're already over the, the limit. I feel like we probably don't need the extra battery. Let's take this battery out. See where that puts us. Yeah, it definitely lowers us down a little bit. So I don't think we need it. We want the extra cargo space. So. Cool. Alright, there we go. So now we have three lasers. Can't really get really close in front of us, but that's okay. That'll keep me from like accidentally shooting myself. And then I can get in front of me pretty good. And I can get behind me okay. They're not as good as I would like, but that's okay. So I might be able to move all this more to the center. So that's what we look like now. Let's see. Still kind of slow. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to have to fix that. Let's go over here. Then what I was thinking, maybe the help with traction and stuff is, let's see, can we put another, like, tire down? Where's the thing at? Okay, can we add that? Oh, look at that. So, okay. And put that in there. We'll take this guy this way. Let's see if we can throw another tire on here. Damn. Now this tire has plus three on turbo while these have a plus eight. So can I get any more turbo action out of these guys? I can add a two more. But I have to make two more of those things. Oh, hey. Look at that. We're already faster. Okay, so let me make two more of these doodads over here. Alright guys, made a few more of these little amplifiers, things. So let's put these on. Okay. And I don't think we can get any more. Well, now we're sharing. Maybe that'll do it. So we're at plus five. And I guess we're missing two or how are these at plus eight? Oh, because they have three. So this one's three amplifiers on it, plus two of these doodads. So I wonder how there's really not another way of doing that, huh? And just to pull this off real quick, if I take this tire, can I put it? Oh, I can't put it in the middle. Oh, wait a second. Well, no, I'm still getting three there. But I might be able to... See, one, two, three, four. Two, three. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I might be able to make this... a little better. So, let me, let me play around with this for a second. Alright, guys, so now I have a third wheel inside. And I've added a lot of amplifiers to increase the speed. So now we're at eight on the middle wheel and nine on the on the uh, end wheels. So, wow, look at all the properties or all the uh, specs that, that carries over. So that this is interesting. Now, we are a little quicker, but like it's still a little sluggish because I've like added a lot of weight with adding those blocks. And even though they're not that much, we put a bunch. So now this wheel, if I highlight the wheel, you can see everything that is associated with that block. And same thing with this one. So you can see all of those blocks and they're all, there's like, you know, one, two, three, four. And there's another one right there. And yeah, I think, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I don't know if I want the wheel right here, if I want it pushed back a little bit. Our reactor capacity has gone really high and it was a little better managed a minute ago using this other block. So I had this other block that 
we are using, where is it at here? This one right here. So this one actually has a negative three effect on the reactor load. So it actually reduces the load, you know, the reactor capacity by three points for each one of these that I use. So I may go back to this, even though we only are getting one in the speed, we're reducing our reactor load quite a bit. So that's another thing to kind of keep an eye out for. Like a lot of these blocks have a minus three on the reactor load. So I might need to think about that since we are getting to the point of putting all this armor on and now we're we're overloaded. So give me a minute. Let me let me revert back a little bit and then and then I'll show you guys kind of like what I come up with. I'm gonna mess with this back in too a little bit. Let's see if we can close this up a little. Alright guys, so after quite a bit of configuring and readjusting with the uh, current design, I've now kind of come up with a think a better layout and we are not too much over our reactor capacity and I was able to stick an extra battery in whereas I had to take a battery out earlier so I did remove these little shields off the front over here I may stick them back on uh, but honestly they're just kind of getting in the way every time I try to look at a, a like a stat on something the shield was in the way so like if I look at a stat there I can't I can't read what it says because the shield is shooting through it so what I did is I ended up moving the wheels back and I went back to using the little versa, uh, versatile yeah versatile axles and that only has a plus one but I'm doubled up on them so you can see like see if I scroll over it it tells me everything that it's affecting so it's 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 putting it's affecting this tire and this tire at the same time and then I have this axle right there which is just really for this tire but it's also helping to support some of these other pieces under here and then I went ahead and put the axles back over underneath the cab area over here and now we're running less on the speed like this is only plus two and plus two so but I actually think we're faster <laughs> if, if you can believe that so I'm not sure why. I may stick some boosters in between here because uh, I pulled them out because it was adding to our reactor capacity. And I reconfigured our top missiles up here a little bit and then added some, you know, I had needed to close up the back. And so I was like, how do I close up the back? So I went over to these shields, moved th these around, and then added some little brackets. I still have a space to close up. So I'm going to figure that out here in a second. But now I have like my, my missiles are at plus five and plus five so they're ten on here six on that one and seven on that one because it's this one is sharing these two at the same time and plus it's drawing from the cab so this one's only getting from the amplifiers and the cab whereas this one is getting a few more to it and this one is actually sharing it so that's kind of nice i ended up putting the the batteries back under there so like I said I have two batteries now and I don't know I could remove a battery and that might help with some weight because I think those at those weigh a lot right let's look at that real quick I don't know if we need to because we're mainly running on missiles right now so let's see this is a 15 on the reactor load but it has plus three on the superconductor thing so I don't know and I don't know what it says I don't really know so if we look now, see now I can actually, like, see I'm faster and I can climb up this hill no problem. I mean, like, it's not struggling at all to go up this hill, you know? And, I mean, and we're just super strong. So to, like, worry about anything except for the cold still, we still have to figure out the cold thing. But, yeah, I mean, I think I'm, you know, pretty quick on everything and the missiles are doing a ton of damage. So, see? We're pretty good right there. I mean, there's not any parts left over to use from that guy. Man. Oh, these guys are coming over here for some reason. So, what are you doing, buddy? And so, I can actually just kind of run over a lot of these guys. You know? Like, I don't even have to shoot these smaller guys. So, that's kind of nice. Now, these guys are over there. Not sure what you guys are doing. I'm trying to come over here. Damn. So, this double missile's deal works out pretty nice I and mean, we're, we're definitely slower not slower than the original design 
So, we're, you know, we have a lot more power to go up these hills and stuff, so that's good. Like, I'm not really struggling too much. It slows down a little bit, but, I mean, we're able to navigate a lot better. It's definitely not as much of a struggle. Holy cow. See, I went so fast, I flipped over. <laughs> so, you know, doing pretty good. And let's go over here real quick and just take on this guy. And, I mean, I'm noticing, like, what is he doing? I'm doing wheelies and stuff? What the heck? So, I mean, I can just, you know, pick out these guys pretty good. And just run right into them. So, I, I like that. A lot of missiles on me, so I have to be careful. Dang, I mean, did you see that? So I don't know. I mean, this guy seems to be doing pretty good so far. I'll just push all these guys out there. We have more power than him. Bam. So. Instead of using my missiles, I can just roll over these guys. I mean, that's a pretty nice feature, right? I, mean, I kind of like that. This guy right here, you know? Oh. Let's just run over you. Just run right over you. Just cram him into the side of the base over here. Yeah, that seems to work pretty good. I mean, we also have a full auto repair, so we're not suffering there. So we're, our little guy's repairing. I haven't really took too much damage on the front. Our little cab is staying safe, so that's nice. So let's fire some missiles over there and get rid of those guys. We've got these guys. Let's just run over them. I mean, I just kind of like that feature a lot. That's really a feature, or not. But it seems to work pretty good. You know? Bam. So I don't know. I like I like it so far. This is kind of what I was wanting to do. And ooh, still, that little guy, these little guys were their sad little. You know, cab and one little gun seem to just stick around and do so much damage. I, I'm starting to lose parts because I'm cold. I need to get back over. Back over to repair before I blow up. But I mean, see, we're definitely faster, guys. Let's repair. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think so far. Let's back up a little bit. The only thing I think, I mean, we're also in the middle of a storm, so because we don't, we're not overloaded on our uh, reactor, we're not heated up too much. So look at all these parts we just got. And yeah, I mean, just throw all those in there. Only have two rockets left, so the ramming thing works out pretty good. Now I could go here, I think, and we may do this. Take this guy, stick that right there, put these back. You know, these are plus seven on the reactor, so it's kind of a lot. So that's why I took them off, because we already have a little bit of shielding up front. Or actually a lot of shielding up front. So, you know, I'm not sure if it's worth having those right there. It might be better to have these, like right here instead, to be honest, if we're going to use them. Oh, I mean, if we're going to use these, you know, we could put them wherever, <laughs> but it might be better there to protect our missiles and stuff. So maybe, maybe I'll move them around. We're going to take them off, take these off. We got to still conserve some, some of our reactor and because I need to fill up this hole. And I may want to stick some of these cannons on here too. Make use of either this cannon, you know? I mean, 
We could put that like on the side. Something like that. Could could potentially work for us. I don't really like that it's on the side because it's a 360 thing. Whoa, wait a second. I had more of those. Where did they go? Oh no, I, I think I just had one. So if I had it on the side, it, it does have a little bit of range. And, you know, I do like that it's a lot faster. So, you know, I, I don't know how to explain that as far as that guy over there. Bam. So that particular cannon is a lot quicker than, say, the electric cannon or whatever like that thing's called. So if we go over here and we swap, put this one, like, let's just put this one right uh, here if we can. Now this one only has a 90 degree turning radius, so it's just basically front fire. Like, it only turns like that much. But see, it's kind of slow. So if you guys, I don't know if you can really see that on the, on the uh, video, but it's super, super slow. Whereas the other one follows my mouse precisely, where this one kind of lags behind. You can't really tell. I need to put it in a place where you can see, but it doesn't have, it only has 90 degrees of, of range motion. So, so yeah, that's something we're gonna have to deal with. But I think for now, I might just go without these guns. And if anything, we just stick some of these little cheap ones on the little guys. Let's see, where are we at here? Uh, maybe these? Or the, I don't know. I wish I had like a range meter on here to show us which one has a good range. Like this is a faster firing one. So we could just put these like right there, you know, just to have a little extra something. But I really don't know if it's worth it. Or as a matter of fact, we could put them right here. There we go. Because they, they're 360 guns. So yeah, they, they go all over. That way I can switch them out with lasers if we need to. And yeah, so we can just fire like that. And uh, yeah, so we can fire up and down. That way we kind of make use of that ammo that we have. But they are kind of expensive also. Yeah, see we're already at 304 and all I did was stick on these guns and two shields. So those are 12 each. Wow. So I may just run with no, no guns and just load up with a ton of rockets and see what we can do with that. The one thing I do want to do is see if we can close up our, we have this little area right here, which is a direct shot to our batteries. And that's, that's no good. So let's see what we can do to close up that space right there. I'm trying to look to see what we have to work with here. I kind of moved everything around and let's see you know what can we change the color of this thing it's hard to see what color everything is so let's uh, choose a different color scheme i was doing white but it's that's almost worse <laughs> i can't see anything there let's do our little yeah i kind of like this it's kind of the tank color anyway you know when it's down on the ground the lights are showing on it. it's kind of that tank desert storm brown looking thing so let's do this let's see what kind of bracket we can find to fill this space that it doesn't cost too much it needs to fit right inside there okay after a while of messing around here with the back of my little vehicle i have made a few changes and just trying to figure out like i'm trying to keep my auto repair status in the green and which means i kind of have to keep my uh, reactor capacity kind of in the 275 range i think that's max as soon as i add one just any one anything like this i go automatically into the auto like the moderate auto repair status where it's not really repairing as fast so we drop from 209 on our recharge also and up to 216 so I was just trying to keep it in the green. I do have the battery now. It's somewhat protected a little bit. We have a couple of pieces in the way. And then I have the top of this protected. And I have these shields in the back. And had to remove some pieces up front. But we ended up adding these little pieces here. Kind of added a point to it. So these were nice because they take up... So it basically takes two of these pieces to equal one of these in a sense so i was able to replace that and that saved us 
a little bit of weight and some reactor load. Also, by cutting down some of the stuff, I was able to increase our speed. So we were at two earlier with all of our tire speeds uh, with the uh, boosted, you know, with the, uh, what do you call it, the amplification <laughs> in the turbo was at two. So now I have them all at six. So that's pretty good. Oh no, I don't have that one at six. I could put that one at six. So the only way I need to, I can get this one at six is I have to move this panel back a little bit. And I'm not really sure I want to do that because then it'll like leave a gap right here. So I think I'm just gonna leave that one at four. It doesn't seem to really affect too much. I already tried messing with it a little bit, but let me rotate this thing back on there. And, and so I don't know, it just wasn't a huge ordeal. I also kind of balanced out all of my missiles. So I have them all in the center right here and they're all at plus six with the plus five uh, also from the cab, from the crab cab. And I tried swapping out the crab cap, but that just doesn't work. That didn't work at all because this thing just has a whole lot of reactor capacity, and that's kind of what we need. So let's just take this thing out for a spin, real quick. I think this is where I'm going to like leave this. I, I may put some guns on the side of this thing, but right now it's doing pretty good. It looks like it's like a little heavy in the front, which is kind of weird. It's kind of sways a little, kind of strange. Which I do have the batteries all towards the front. Uh, maybe I could balance that out. A little bit actually let me I wonder could we could we rotate the batteries and put this battery like right there maybe this one oh nope oh nope okay definitely not doing that so we'll just rotate oh rotate this guy back he didn't quite go in where I was hoping he would go let's see get in there all the way okay did you make it yeah, all right, cool. So we do have our little heater. Uh-oh, get back up there. There we go. So, let's see, is that, is that, that help the stance a little bit? No, it's still kind of squatting, squatty in the, in the front a little bit. So, I don't know what that is. Kind of cool looking though. So maybe it's just because we have two tires in the back. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, so now let's go test this out and show you guys the full speed of this thing. So you can kind of see it's, it's pretty quick now. Like, this is definitely a lot faster, and I don't know if I have any heaters, but oh, I don't have any heater stuff, do I? Let's see. Let's go grab. Like, uh oh, come on, those rocks, man. <laughs> Dude, get back up. Okay. So the heater I had some heater fuel, but I guess I don't. What is that? That's heater fuel. Why is my reactor not turning on? Let's see here. Oh, why is it? It's not even connected. How is that not connected? I just... Oh, it's right there. I must, must have fell off. All right, let's put this back on. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, let's put this... I guess because I moved the battery, I ended up messing with the little reactor thing. So let's put it... I want to just put it between batteries keep them nice and warm well, I gotta get this thing oriented right there we go should be able to put it right there okay so now let's turn that back that way and we should have some a reactor thing of course it's the key because I took it off we have to adjust the key on it now so I like it to be that key turn that thing off and yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just keep all that the way it is. So, now I can turn it on. There we go. So that'll balance our little reactor out a bit. And we can go test this thing out over here. Let's see. Where'd everybody go? What happened? Oh, I, somebody's coming after us. Oh, I gotta watch out for these little flowers things. A little bouncy plants over there. Let's just throw that dude right there. Whoa! Like that. <laughs> that guy. Holy cow. <laughs> so, go over here and I believe our little reactor is doing enough to keep us... Oh, no, no. I went into my own rocket. It's like the worst. Okay. I'm going to repair real quick. 
go. Oh, you guys just spawned out of nowhere. And there we go. Gotta shoot in the front a little bit. So we're throwing three missiles out. All at level six. Oh, what the heck? I didn't realize it was deep water. Get up there. Oh my gosh. There we go. Everybody messing with me, coming after me now. Just gonna run you over. Yep, that worked out really good. And oh yeah, we're gonna run you over too. And how about you? Run you over. Yep, that's working pretty good. And then we'll just get all these guys. Works out pretty good. So I forgot there's deep water right there. So throw that rocket right there. Bam. So yeah, I mean I feel like oh oh the rock. Yep. Smash that dude. Let's go smash some more guys. Get that guy out of the way. And we'll just run over this guy and that guy. I mean, just run it over on this great. Run over this guy. Pick up all the goodies. Is he still shooting me? Gosh, dude. What you gonna do now? Alright. So, we got a little bit of damage going on from running over everybody. And we'll just fire a rocket volley right there. And then there. So that was working pretty good. Our repair thing should work. We decently be able to repair, but back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Oh my gosh. Come on. Awesome wheels. Also, oh gosh, we got another guy. Let's just see if we can. Oh my gosh, can I repair while up here? <laughs> okay, well, that kind of worked. Alright, let's just back up. And run over those rocks. Gosh. The chassis, is that a chassis? A new chassis? I'm looking for these smaller chassis. I can't find them anywhere. They're not over here. You gotta watch out for the bouncy things, paint those things. Back off. Okay, watch out for those guys. Yeah, there we go. Just run you over. Oh man, what happened? Okay. Those guys off the tails. Oh, another run to a bouncing thing. Have to watch out. Okay, there are some right there. So we'll whack those dudes. Alright, and get you out of here. Parts everywhere. Uh oh. Oh, dang it. How, how do I miss those rocks? Okay. We'll just get all those guys out of the way. Okay, see if we can do a bit of repair thing at our base. There it goes. But see, I mean, I can go up hills pretty nicely still. So, I mean, we're going a little faster. Although this guy. Alright. I'll run you over. And. Oh, they're doing me in. Missing some wheels now. And barely turn. very well. Let's run back here. Okay, that should get us taken care of. There are. Let's run over them. Yeah, these little guys we can kind of run over, so. Yeah. Oh, what happened there? Push him around. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I'm missing half my wheels. They just like peck at me. Back over you. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Good grief. So we're still pretty good on our auto repair. I mean, I guess that's about as good as it gets. Recharge state is pretty decent, although I'm not, not really using any battery powered weapons or anything. So we're just kind of sticking with actual ammo and some heater stuff so as far as picking all this stuff up let's see so let's go attack this guy over here real quick and just see how we hold up against him fire a little thing there turned out pretty good nice little direct hit and we're way bigger than him so we're able to take a pretty good amount of damage yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. So, let's see. Let's just go after this guy here. Push him into the water. There you go. What you gonna do? Bam, right on the belly. So that worked out pretty good. And are we missing any parts? Maybe one? So I don't know, you guys let me know what you think of this build. I still have to patch the little gap in my little rear end back there because I just, uh, it's driving me crazy. I don't know what to stick in there. <laughs> okay, and I'm not really sure how to close that up, you know? So it's, we'll have to figure that out. But anything I add extra puts us in the moderate repair state. I'm trying to stay in the full green and we're full green here, full green there, and we, our temperature is being managed by just one fuel thing, a heater core thing, whatever it's called. And and so that means that we don't have to go through fuel supply so so fast, or heater fuel. Or, but anyway, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I think it's a good stopping point. And what we'll do in the next episode is we'll go explore some more areas and see about getting into that crater over there in the mountain i knew i probably wouldn't be able to get to it in this episode because we we're going to spend some time sitting here trying to figure out a decent build to be able to get over there but i think i think this will do it you know like if i go over to where it's much colder i think this will hold up you know as soon as we cross over here it starts to drop pretty good so i don't know we're kind of right on that edge might have to add some kind of overheating thing, but then we'll lose our auto repair status. So I don't know, I have to still, I guess there's a little bit of you know work to still be done to this. So I'll probably mess with that off camera or whatever. So if we can tweak it just a little bit more and you guys let me know if you have any ideas on what I can do to drop that down a little bit. You know, right now I feel pretty decent about the speed. You know, we're definitely a lot faster and we're definitely a lot more tanky. And you know, I don't have to worry about running out of battery juice have tons of rockets now I just set my machine on auto build so it it basically built a lot of rockets so I have some there and we have a bunch of fuel there this is rockets and grenades and then I have some more rockets and then some heavy ammo and other stuff so we'll take all that out to our next little adventure and then you know we'll see how this thing holds up over there but with that, I appreciate you guys watching videos and leaving all the comments and suggestions and all that. I'm definitely putting all that to good use with trying to make a better little rover guy and a better base. And, so yeah, you know, get, get into that crater over there and take on all those guys that are on in the inside. So I'm sure these little rockets will take care of a lot of that because I can get them from a distance. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. And with that, I appreciate you guys and make sure you like and subscribe on the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.